I say, that looks like a young Charlie Chaplin. Sir, please take this money and use it to pursue your dreams. Danke. Stewie, I think that was a young Hitler. You just gave money to Hitler. Yeah, but before all the crazy stuff. All right, Chris, let's discuss what you've learned so far. Now, what is your biggest takeaway from our travels? That you can't take a good nap with keys in your pocket. For God's sake, Chris, you clearly have not paid attention to anything we've shown you. You're absolutely helpless. Did you ever consider the reason you're having trouble passing ninth grade is that you're incapable of anything else? That this is the absolute zenith of your ability? Zenith means tough. No, it means <gasps> TV. <sighs> now I'm catching fire. Damn it, Chris, your problem isn't book learning, it's that you're a moron. This whole trip has been a complete waste of time. <sighs> Screw you, Stewie, you're a jerk. And I'm going to win that bowling tournament, with or without you! <laughs> what is he... What? He doesn't even know what we're preparing him for. Chris? Chris, come back! But we've looked all over London. He's nowhere. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. Hey, Stewie! If I'm such a moron, then how did I get on a fancy boat? Later, douchebags! Oh, crap. Chris is on the Titanic? No, no, it's okay, Brian. We'll just go back in time to before Chris ran off. Oh, and I took your fancy smoke detector! <gasps> My God, he's got the return pad! Brian, we've got to get on that ship! Attention, Attention passengers. The karaoke contest will begin in five minutes. Okay, now we've really got to get on that ship. <laughs> Ryan, we have to get on that ship. It's our only hope to save Chris. There, jump onto that mooring rope. We can use it to pull ourselves up. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure we were going to make it. I wasn't worried. I faced bigger challenges, like trying to dress Jonah Hill for the Oscars. This ship, it's, it's unbelievable. It's even more magnificent than I imagined. That, Brian, that, that's what I was telling you about. That's brocade. Come on, Stewie, we gotta find Chris on the return pad before it's too late. All right, let's split up. I'll go search in first class. You go down to steerage and wade through the gross Irish and Italians. That's two. Who knows what I'm gonna find in steerage? Bunch of drunk, fat, pie-faced Irish fools. Excuse me, have any of you seen a blonde teenage boy? Who's asking? Yeah, who the hell are you? And I'm the baby! Chris? What the hell? Stewie, what are you doing? Uh, dining at the captain's table. Everyone at this table was the first person to refrigerate something. I refrigerated shoes, because everybody likes a cool toe. Also, I gave the string quartet the sheet music for Highway to the Danger Zone. You have the sheet music for Highway to the Danger Zone? Uh, yeah. What do you think I keep in this backpack? It's all power bars and sheet music. Stewie, you're supposed to be looking for Chris. I did. He wasn't in the Turkish bath, the veranda cafe, or the bloody handkerchief ball. <laughs> oh, dear. Relax, Brian. I think I see Chris right now. Really? Where? I'm gonna go ahead and bet he's the guy with the whole chicken stuck on his head. Hey, you're not Chris. Pardon me, that's my hat. I know this thing's gonna sink, but I'm having a good time. <laughs> Stewie, look. <laughs> Chris, there you are. Well, 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 if it isn't Booger Breath and the Mushroom Tip. Wh uh, which one of us is which? Chris, we've got to get off this boat. The Titanic was one of the biggest disasters in history. Well, if you're so worried, why don't you alert the crew and save everyone? Because, Chris, we can't alter the past. That's the first rule of... of, uh, uh dreaming. Besides, saving this ship would mean talking to, like, 80 people, and, and I'm, I'm just not in that kind of mood right now. 
Look, Chris, just give us that thing you took so we can all get home. <laughs> Quick, Chris, Stewie, get on! To home! Or I'll just put in the coordinates. I'll need to try it out and completely rewire it. This would make a great movie. And the parts I need to fix the return pad certainly aren't <coughs> on this ship. We have to somehow get to dry land. Dry land? Stewie, almost everyone on the Titanic died. All right, calm down, Brian. No! There's so much I haven't done! I've never even successfully made love to a woman in the shower! <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Brian, this is our only hope. The majority of people who got on those lifeboats were women of noble birth. Now, I've given us all backstories. I am Lady Antonia Tyler Carrington, the Duchess of Lancashire, the heir to the Earl of Portsmouth, and the cousin of the Countess of Wessex. Quit. Okay, great. And who are we? I don't know. You're just two sluts with me. Hey, there's a lifeboat. Uh, yeah, but it's got one of those funny southwest lifeboat attendants. Hey, here's a reminder. As you exit the boat, don't forget to give us your extra snacks. Because as you know, we work for peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's refreshing. Most of those guys are all serious. There, that one! It's our last chance! Hey, they learned it! What a bunch of pros! Hello there, sir. We are three noble women in distress. Sorry, boat's full. Um, what if one of us were to turn this big ship into a tugboat? <laughs> a wink, wink. Wouldn't help you. You're the fourth person to offer that, and I'm kind of spent. I don't believe this. Dear God, we're stuck here. We're going to drown on the Titanic. Oh, no, we're not. Hey, I said you can't come on here. Get out of my... Oh! oh no! I can't swim without my striped one piece! Everyone, move over! We're getting on this boat! Please, take my baby! Yeah, I'm sorry. If I take your baby, I'm gonna have to take everyone's baby. Can you believe that woman? Putting me on the spot in front of everyone. <laughs> 